Hey guys, Matt here bringing you guys another episode here on Madden 18 Franchise Chargers Mode. Or, Chargers Madden 18 Franchise. Man, oh man, he was stuffed by Nasir Jones. Um, the lack of videos was due to a uh, slight uh, flu that it's been going around. And that was complete, so that is not good. So, as I said, I had the flu. Um, I just wasn't feeling good, but today I feel better. Still have a slight flu, but it's better. And Joey Bosa gets to Philip Rivers, and Nazir Jones recovers the football. Wow. And. Man, oh man, Frederick Minnis won the MVP race, and he jukes away, wow. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting. So, Frederick Minnis, I'll show you guys after, he, or if I remember, he won so many awards, it's ridiculous. Bosa spins off, and well, that wasn't good. So, um, Minnis won like 10 awards, being Rookie of the Year, MVP, uh, Pro Bowl, Banks is stuffed, and man oh man, he had 43,000 experience to spend. So I upgraded his juke, very high, uh, his trucking went up. And Rivers is sacked again by Bosa. I upgraded Minnis' spin move. I upgraded, like, everything. His awareness, carrying, and now he's an 88 overall. With plus 3 confidence, so right now he's a 91 overall. So this will be our first passing play as Wilkins gets sacked. Third down and 14. I will check it, thought I would check it down to Minnis, but I got a little too greedy and threw it to him a little late. So, hopefully we can keep Wilkins better in this game with, like, the best offensive line in the league. As Banks just destroys our defense. By the way, guys, this is the divisional round. And I just got news that Jeffrey Banta will not return in this game. And Banks is just destroying our defense right now. So there's a crucial third down and four. By the way, this is the divisional round. We got a wild card five with our 12 and three play. And this is just too easy for them. They're just throwing strikes to all their receivers. Horrible play by our defense so far. Second down and eight. Um, he's just destroying our whole defense. This is annoying me. Third down and five. They're spreading it out. Bosa spins, and it's caught. It was deflected and caught, but there is a flag on the field. That could either be pass interference or holding on offense. And it's holding offense, and I will easily accept that. Actually, I will decline it because it's fourth down and two. Second down and 11, we're going to do a pitch. And he just shoves him away. Spins away, still on his feet, and he finally goes down to Frederick Minnis with a huge run. We are going to get to Frederick Minnis this way, in the Wildcat. Minnis, outside, can he outrun them? No, he can't, but he is stopped at around the 16-yard line. First down and 10.
and we will hit Beasley. However, he's shaken up. I started Beasley because he had so much experience because he went to the Pro Bowl. He had not been starting this season, but when he's came in, he's been very good. Now Sterling Shepard will come into the game for Cole Beasley. Sorry, Crosby Beasley. First and goal for the Chargers. And we will run in with Minnis, who is stopped at the one yard line. We will surprise them with the throw. Or Russell Wilkins walking into the end zone with nobody around him. That's also fine because it's a touchdown. Chargers lead 3 to 14. Second down 14. And Banks gets about four yards after losing four. Third down and ten. And they will throw a screen, however, it is covered beautifully. Wow. James White loses a yard with Javante Russell on the tackle. We only have a minute, eight seconds left in this half. And I tried to get it, I tried to take a little bit long and get it to Hunter Henry, however, he was sacked. Second down and 18. And Hunter Henry gets the first down. First down and 10, they will blitz. And Wils Wilkins had no chance right there. Second down and 17. And that is somehow not picked off right there. So now... I think we'll just run it. Or actually, let's throw a screen. Last play of the half. Oh man, that spin. Another spin. Well, we got the first down, but doesn't matter. First play of the second half. Oh man, he just did a little uh, juke right there, and he uh, gets about a 14 yard gain. Second down and 11. And we will take a shot to Henry and it is popped up in the air stupidly by Henry and picked off. Great play Henry, I just signed you to like a hundred million dollar contract. Not so you do plays like that. Third down and five. Oh man. And of course they get it because our receivers are playing bad man coverage. First down and ten after that dumb face mask call, after that dumb face mask came penalty. Banks gets stuffed. Second down and seventeen after that holding call. Banks just tried to power over Javante Russell. But that's not going to work. They're down in 13 now to keep them out of field goal range. And Rivers will nearly throw a pick if those secondary can catch. If those secondary dudes can catch. Look at where they pinned us back on the punt. So now... We need Minnis to step up right now, and he does, and he gets about eight yards. Second down and one. And Minnis gets stuffed. Crucial third down and two. And he does not complete the juke, but gets the first down. 
first down and and, and a nice little dump off to Henry, which gets about six yards. Second down and four. Oh man, that nice little side juke. <clears throat> right when he makes ca the catch. Does Olsen, and he gets about 10. Third down and three. And that is complete. First down, Chargers. As the Patriots are in press coverage. He tried to escape, but gets sacked. However, only loses inches. Third down and one. They won't blitz. They'll regret it. Hunter Henry breaks a tackle and gets out of bounds. First and ten. Really nothing. And he tries to throw it to Bell. However, Bell cannot keep his feet in bounds. So let's now just throw the football. Probably to Henry. And, well, Hightower gets off his block. And what do you think? Sacks Wilkins. Man, this line needs to be able... I have some of the best pass blockers in this league. And they can keep Wilkins on his feet. However, that is a way to, well, uh-oh. Wilkins is hurt. I was about to say I don't mind if he gets hit if he makes those throws, and that could be a problem. Look at all the people we just lost for the whole game. Just today, we lost Jeffrey Banta, I forget, in the second or first quarter. Crosby Beasley went out in the first, I believe. And now Wilkins is out with a quadra, a quadricep strain. Quadricep strain for Beasley. Why can't I speak? Quadricep strain for Banta. Well, they need to uh, work out on their quads because uh, that's too many people getting quad injuries. First and goal, as Lawson is in the game, we are going to rely on Menace. So we are going to run right up the gut and get absolutely nothing. Second and goal, we will pitch it out. And Minnis gets that nice little juke, but can't get much more. Third down and goal. Since we just want to somewhat run out this clock, we will run it right up the middle, and Minnis gets stuffed at around the two or three yard line. That will set up a field goal for Justin Tucker, who we traded for at the beginning of the season. And, well... Tucker will obviously make the little chip shot. We'll just show you guys. The kick is up and it's good. Justin Tucker extends the lead to a two-score game. However, it's always been a two-score game, but now it's a two-touchdown lead. So, now, first down and ten, New England Patriots. And he misses his receiver, Brandon Cooks. So now this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. And Phillip Rivers is sacked by Bosa and Perry Farr. Third down and 15 for the Patriots. Sorry, Rivers, that we traded you. But, wow. But we thought, uh, or I thought, Wilkins would have been better, but I think we should have kept him on the bench for a year. And then, or keep Rivers and then started uh, Wilkins after the sec 
or when he was in his second year. Second down and ten. Wow. Oh, incomplete. Broken up by Russell. Great job, Russell. Bosa will be working on Nate Soldier. Soldier beat by Bosa. And oh, nearly picked off. Wow. Lucky right there. That was Earl Thomas right there, nearly picking the ball off. The Patriots will have to go for it. And their playoffs will be on the line. Fourth down and ten. They don't convert this game is over. And broken up by Francis Goodwin, our best cornerback on our roster. As Will can, or as Minnis trots onto the field right now. We need a first down to officially seal the game. And Minnis gets us one step closer. What do we have here? Oh, man, that jet sweep just got busted right there. Well, that's a problem. Looks like another jet sweep. Oh, wait, it isn't. An incomplete for Fisher Bell. Well, 49-yard field goal for Justin Tucker. The kick is on its way, and good. That will make this a three-score game and seal this divisional playoff game. Well, that will end the game. The score is 3-20. to 20. Hopefully all those injured players, Jeffrey Banta, Crosby Beasley, and the most important of all, Russell Wilkins, hopefully they'll be back for next week. So, let's go see those stats. Wilkins did okay before he got injured. 10 of 14, 139 passing yards, 71% completion, 0 touchdowns, 1 interception, which in my opinion really wasn't his fault. Bad play by Hunter Henry, who thought he could pop it back to Fisher Bell. They only popped it back. Two, <sighs> the Patriots free safety. Uh, Wilkins had a 9.9 .9 yards per attempt throw. His longest pass was 35 yards. And now let's go see Minnis' stats. Minnis did great. 17 carries, 136 yards, 8 yards a carry. That's what this line is good at, running the ball. But hopefully they get better at pass block. One touchdown for Minnes, zero fumbles, three broken tackles, 16 yards after contact, three runs over 20 yards. 34 yards was his longest run, which was his first run of the day. And let's go see who will take on in the division or in the AFC uh, championship. And... Let's go see how many awards Minnis won. Let me show you guys. I drafted Frederick Minnis in the fifth round, pick 28 in the 2019 draft. He was an 80 overall with superstar development. He has one, he was a gem to get. He has one Pro Bowl, he had one Pro Bowl appearance. These are all of his awards. So let's see. Well, being drafted is one. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And he had one Pro Bowl appearance just this year as a rookie. AFC Offensive Player of the Week, Week 6. League leader rush yards. And I think he'll have many in his career. He won the 2019 MVP, 2019 Offensive Player of the Year, 2019 Offensive Rookie of the Year, and 2019 Best Running Back.
And luckily, Russell Wilkins, Crosby Beasley, and Jeffrey Bantle will be back. Next week, when, oh, and so will Chris, so will, what's his name? I forget his name. Curtis Hardy next week. And who will we take on next week? We will take on the Pittsburgh Steelers at StubHub Center. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a joy. Leave a like if you did. Curtis Hardy is back. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe. Remember the shout out process. Like the video, or first of all, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below, I've subscribed. Subscribed. Those are what you need to do to get shout out. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.